At WAM, we know that here in Ireland, there are over 2,000 students with disabilities graduating university every year, from every discipline who are ready, willing and able for work. However, these highly skilled and resilient candidates are finding huge barriers at trying to get a job. On the flip side, employers say that they are open to hiring candidates with disabilities, but they just don't have any applying for roles. So what is it that's separating these highly skilled graduates from the companies who are recruiting? Well, here's WAM's top five tips for making your recruitment process accessible for candidates with disabilities, so that you can get the best people for your company, regardless of disability. Number one, know the job you're recruiting for. The first step on the road to making your recruitment process more accessible is to look at the job specification you are using to advertise the position. Ambiguous or misleading language can lead people to self-select out of applying for a role. For example, saying that candidates need good communication skills is going to raise red flags for people who are dyslexic, autistic, deaf or hard of hearing. But what do you mean when you say communication? Is it primarily written communication? Telephone work? Face-to-face? -face, online? A deaf person might have difficulty with face-to-face -face customer care, but thrive at providing online customer support. A dyslexic person might not be comfortable in a job where communications are very email-centric, but may excel at presenting and making sales in person. Being clear about what the job involves will attract people who feel that the role is something they can succeed in. Number two, consider people who may have a different story. It's worth considering those individuals who have built up skills and abilities outside of the formal education system. Increasingly, graduates with disabilities are very IT proficient due to the necessity to engage with assistive technology from an early age. Moreover, many have acquired excellent advocacy, communication, negotiation and organisational skills, as such competencies are part and parcel of their daily lives. A graduate with a disability may have had different experiences of work, sports, clubs and societies than other graduates. Their story is not a typical story during the recruitment process, and whether this is picked up at application stage or in conversation at interview, it is worth remembering that because they present differently, it doesn't mean that they are any less capable. In fact, they may bring something positively different. Number three, be aware that psychometric testing sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. As with any other type of assessment, Psychometric tests often paint only part of the picture of a candidate's personality and abilities. Therefore, it is important that psychometric tests are used in conjunction with other forms of assessment in order to reach a meaningful understanding of a participant's abilities. Decisions based solely on psychometric tests are not advised if you are seeking to have a truly diverse workforce. Number four, make sure that you are ready to engage in a positive conversation. When it comes to interviewing a candidate with a disability, the most important thing is to find out whether the applicant can match the requirements of the job specification. It is then up to the applicant to demonstrate their skills and abilities with the core tasks of the jobs in mind. A question like, this job involves a lot of data entry, how would you approach this task? Allows the candidate an opportunity to demonstrate their own success strategies as well as their problem solving skills. But remember, you'd have to ask the same question of all applicants for the job. And don't forget to ensure all interviewers have received disability and diversity awareness training. Number five, be prepared to learn from the experience. Creating a more diverse workplace is a journey. Changing practices, approaches and mindsets take time. Be receptive to where the issues are and how you can make your recruitment process more accessible for everyone and your company will begin to see the benefits of building a more diverse workforce. For more information on anything you've seen in this video, contact us at wham.ahead.ie or check out our website at ahead.ie.